Hey, Superior. Are you gonna be using that thing all day? Yes. Do we have another microwave? No. You may recall that we have some trouble with nobodies keeping microwaves in their rooms. <laughs> oh yeah, that was great. Never thought electrons could explode that quickly. But, um, I was kind of hoping I could melt down these sore action figures. Like, now. You may not, number eight. You will have to wait until I'm finished. And when might that be? However long it takes to be finished. If you are going to stay here, then make yourself useful and switch out the hot pockets. Mm, can't get birth by sleep still because I don't have a PS. Hey, these are zig bars, aren't they? No, I have claimed them for myself. Therefore, these tasty cheese and broccoli treats are mine. They are pepperoni pizza. I have stated that they are cheese and broccoli, and it is so. Okay, I'll come back later. Zemnis? What are you doing? I am standing in front of the microwave very casually, with an open coat, doing absolutely nothing out of character at all. That is true, except for the fact that you are actually wearing pants. Do you think the pants will block the microwaves? I repeat, Zemnis, what are you doing? I am standing in front of the microwave. <laughs> Why? There are these delightful things that I have just discovered. They are called comic books, and there are superheroes and supervillains, but they all have superpowers. That absolutely doesn't explain why you are standing in front of a microwave. You, you are, you are trying to use radiation from the microwave to give yourself superpowers. I cannot even explain in how many ways this is not possible. I'm certain it is a simple matter of time, Vixen. If I wait here long enough, either the microwave will give me miraculous x-ray vision, or radioactive spider will come along and bite me. I could tell you all the things that are wrong with that statement, but I'm afraid I don't have until the fifth of forever to do so. Just... Ah! Dark, dark, ah! Hey, Superior! What should the- Hey! Are you... Are those... My Hot Pockets? No, they are mine. I have claimed them. Would you be kind enough to remove the heated one and start another? There's a stack of them over here! And you're not even eating them! They are not pies, number two. They're kinda like pies? I mean... This is the crust, and there's the filling inside, and... Never mind. Can I at least have all the cooked ones? I suppose that I do not mind, but I require a favor in return. Sure, boss. Shoot me. What? I should have required enough radiation for some superpowers now. I will attempt to deflect your bullets. But I don't really use bullets. I will still deflect them. Have at thee, fiend. Well, okay. You asked for it. You tried to shoot me. You asked me to! But you were almost successful. Clearly I need more exposure to the microwave. Couldn't have you just used one of those energy walls of yours? Ow! Oh, right. Telekinesis. Hey! Give him back! Why do you have a duck in the kitchen? Someone has to join me for my sponge baths. Replico! You unsanitary little protozoa! You should know better than that! It's not my fault you won't let me use the chemical showers! Those are for emergency use only! Now take your duck away, the grown-ups are conducting an experiment. <laughs> You're the only one I can trust, Darkwing. For Newton's sake, don't name it. Shut up! He 
is the terror that flaps in the night. What in the non-world was that? That... that... that little face jumping heartless! Must repress, must repress! Hey there, everyone. Ew, this bridge reeks of drag queen and roses. What the hell? He seems to have discovered the pheromone-laden concoction that Larkseen uses to disguise the fact that she is unable to bathe. Un... able? What a short circuit, sir. So she was reduced to dust bathing in the same manner as an elephant. So... water hurts the witch? Who'd have thought it'd be that easy? Yeah, well... Let's just get that perfume away from him before the whole kitchen smells that way. Ah, my face! My beautiful face! Just what the hell? You! Ah, oh, pain! So much pain! Ah. You have stolen my perfume! And you will pay for this! Hey now, wait a minute! You can't just come in here! Of course here. I can come in here anytime I want to! Do whatever I want! I am a woman! And I have rights! But by the way, this heartless is trembling, it's definitely male! Look, that evil monster almost tore my face off. But this seems unfair. Was anyone talking to you, you glorified muckraker? That is my creation you're talking to, you overly curved misfit of nature, science, and common sense. Holy... Vexen... defended me? I think I'm going to squeeze this heartless over your test tube and see what happens when the little squishy bits get mixed in with everything else. <laughs> I suggest you drop that heartless right now. Unless you want me to use a sink spray. You wouldn't dare! You just try me. Silence! I need someone to switch out the hot pockets.